Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Fingers Valley map. Right, so um, I think it's about time to start getting some sort of uh, a freight hub scheme system thing in place here. Uh, and by that, I mean uh, I want to get some uh, stations at points where uh, I I can just I can bring collections in from uh, other um, from uh, industries that that's that's what they're called uh, and uh, and then just and then uh, you know just distribute further onward and also bring uh, finished goods in and distribute that into towns now. I was thinking about uh, putting a, uh, a hub over here uh, and this um, this hub would need to be able to pass uh, freight directly on into uh, Centennial but it would also collect the uh, the freight from uh, from the industries in the immediate uh, vicinity here uh, some of which I would use trucks on, uh, and especially uh, in the uh, 1950s onward, right, uh, when we start getting uh, the good semi-trucks. Uh, so that was the, the thought I had. Now, uh, the question is, can we do it without going bust? Because uh, building a uh, network like that takes a lot of time before it really starts paying off. Now, I think we probably can. Uh, if we take a look here, we were up 148k with a spend of 200 uh, of, of a uh, 220k a uh, couple periods back. We are up 1.3 mil last period. We're up 2.4 mil currently, or 3 mil currently this period. So, if we're up about a mil every period, that means that we can increase our expenses by about a mil, uh, even if we don't have income, and that. Um, that may actually be uh, useful uh, or, or, or enough to, to make uh, the beginnings of a freight hub scheme work. However, as great as a freight hub scheme sounds, uh, we also have uh, things like these two oil wells and this oil refinery which and this uh, chemical plant where uh, we have two the two inputs for here, the double input for there, plus a sing the full output to here. And that would be better uh, employed as a single line, right? Uh, and that, uh, uh, or as a, as a, a single um, uh, connection point, right? Uh, where I could, I could, uh, do something to collect uh, oil from here, drop it here, and then r run a, a tr like shunter there or something, and run uh, a line from here to here to here, right? Uh, so I, I could possibly do that as well, and that's uh, that's an you know it's it's a it, it's a toss up on on uh, hub systems, right? Uh, because doing collecting these, bringing it to a hub, and then dropping it out here, but then also connecting the hub onward, that uh, that increases the complexity of the freight network, and you can really get stuff going onward that doesn't need to, right? And that's uh, that's something that uh, is uh, probably worth avoiding as well. So. Uh, what I'm thinking is uh, the thing to do is to create a freight hub of some kind. Uh, you create a, create the hub, right? And then uh, for stuff where it makes sense, just through run through the hub or around it or whatever to the, uh, to the place where it makes sense. And then when we get to an end product where we don't have an immediate connection, like uh, for for the uh, a chemical plant here, then we can uh, bring it back to the hub and then the hub can be used to transship on to somewhere else. Uh, and that the whole point of that is to reduce the number of long haul trains, right? 
uh, that are going that are clogging up a network on a bajillion other uh, a bajillion lines, right? So uh, we've got first of all uh, we've got the the traffic in the or the the lines in the way here, which the the passenger lines and uh, the passenger line and the the main line coming down from here with the uh, con mats, right? Now. It occurs to me that I could just make the hub station uh, at Centennial, but I don't think that's the best option. So uh, instead, I, I'll put the, uh, I, I think I put the hub station across here. Yeah. Now the thing about hub stations is they need, they need to potentially store a lot of cargo. And they need to potentially have a lot of tracks. And I'll probably end up looking for a mod where I can get tracks with storage that don't, uh, you know, it, so it looks like a classification yard, right, instead of a, uh, a station. But uh, we'll start out with a cargo station. And I'm going to put four, two, no, I'm going to put one track on it, make it 320 meters, right? Now, we need to collect from some stuff here. I, th I think I should put it in the flat over here. Should I? Maybe. Yeah, I should probably put it on the flat over here. Hmm. Probably angled somewhere, something about like this? No. No, I need it to come down toward Centennial, so probably I want to get it close to the existing tracks. Uh, kind of like that. There. Yeah, I think kind of like that. Hmm. Hmm. No, I think, I think maybe, huh, yeah, about here, okay, now I'll put it back up about here, bam, okay, so this will be Centennial, uh, hub okay uh, now we'll go in here we'll configure this first thing we'll do is remove the building right uh, the buildings are storage but uh, I, I think I want to do something a little different with that uh, so we'll start out I'm gonna use a 320 uh, no nah. Now I'll go 480. Cuz I'll end up with long trains on coming out of here for the uh, for the inter interhub transport, right? Okay. So we got that. Good. Uh, I should I'm going to need I think two or three interhub links here uh i think three okay well in that case i'm probably going to want a platform along here right and i probably want a track along here right okay uh, something I can do also is run the uh, the main line through attached here and I think I'll do that um, ultimately uh, that'll end up with relaying the track, right? So we have the uh, Centennial Hub here. Now, 
from now coming into here uh, coming across you coming into here I'm gonna have this one deliver into there this one will deliver into there but I'm gonna need also a shunter on into here uh, okay Right, that's where it would make sense to attach these. Okay, uh, so I'm going to do that. Uh, yes, I have a plan. No, it's probably not a good one. Uh, okay, so if we... Okay, I need to come up to at least there with the uh, with these right okay yep okay pause it we got 22 mil in the bank let's just uh, take a look here so up three up to a uh, three and a half two and a half yeah so we've got definitely enough cash to be messing with this so that's what i'm going to do um okay so i'm going to need to take this bit of track out and the junction. Okay. So. I can put the, the junction back. That's got to come out level. Right? Uh, kind of like that. Yep. Do that, yeah. Okay, and then that needs to connect. It does. That's a little bit janky, but it'll do. Right? And then I need to back this up to about there. And this needs to connect. Yeah. Good, that connects. And then I need to back this up just a little bit. Yeah. And this needs to connect. Now I need to back that up a little further. Right, this needs to connect. Right. Okay, so that connects. Now, I'm going to need to back this up, and I really wish they'd do something about this. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, I need to back up to about here. Okay, good. Okay, got that. Configure one, two, three. Okay, uh, this reconnect that. Reconnect that. Reconnect this. Reconnect this. And this can come out and connect. Right. And this will slip. Okay, now we've got a uh, platform for shunting into Centennial. Um, and this will be a low capacity shunting line. Uh, yeah, with uh, possibly a longer dwell time set here. Uh, now, uh, if we come along and we add the signals back that we need, so we need this one, this one, and this one, yeah. And we need this one and this one. And just for good measure, I'll put that there. 
Um, and one here. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that gives a platform that I can use to bring stuff into Centennial. And it, it gives me the through or, or the onward connecting platforms. Uh, now I need to look at the, uh, the connection points to bring other stuff into here. Now that's not necessarily the same station. Uh, as this one, but it could be, right? Uh, I've got some some uh, ideas there. Now, uh, I think the um, yeah, thinking that's not such a useful um, operation really. Uh, if there was a food factory that I was uh, going to service. Uh, food processing plant. I'd uh, connect this up, but no, I think I'll uh, I'll I'll actually do this uh, this connection here, where we uh, come up past the station here and onto here. Uh, how am I going to get through there? Right. Hmm. That's uh that's an interesting conundrum. Uh Yeah, it is. Is that what I really want to do? Not really, but I think it's what I should do. Yeah, okay, do it. Yeah, but you didn't figure out how. Right. So the idea I have is I'll run from here. I'll come across ac across the top here and uh, come down onto here and then onward through to here as a, a line. So I'm going to need to take this out of the way. What? No. Um... Okay, that is not a town connector, so I can take it out of the way, too. Right. Right, okay. Take that back. Good. So, we come in here with a regular station. Um, okay, and this is all tankers. So, I only need one track on the station here and it can be like that right yep and I'll need two tracks over here ultimately so I'll just build them uh-huh uh, -huh. uh yeah, I'll do this just in case it's a... Uh, no. No, I'm going to do it on, on the angle like this. Uh, yeah, that'll be slightly better, I think. Yeah. And then... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to want to grab this one. Okay. Uh, that'll be a single track, right? Uh, uh, which I can do like this. Yeah. And this will also be... Uh, you know, for capacity reasons, I should just run two trains. One from here. And one from there all the way through to here. That means that needs... No, I think that can get away with a single track still. Okay. Uh, a single track on the station. Um, okay, so that means we come around like this. And then 
like this, right? Yeah, that looks about right for that connection. And we don't need a platform going this way. So uh, we're going to need a, a crossover here, right? Yeah, that's a crossover, all right. Now, from here, I need to get across the tracks. Now, how do I do that? Could come across the ridge here. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, I think that's what I do. I think I come across the ridge. Uh, so, like, like this. Oh, that would be interesting. That would be interesting. Uh, okay. Yeah, that would definitely be interesting. So if I come came across here, yeah, like this, and then I connect it like that. You know what? That kind of works. What if that was a cut? I like it, actually. What if it goes on there? Yeah, okay. Build it. Okay. Now, with that cheeky viaduct and... Uh, ah. Ah. Okay, so if I were to bring... No. Okay, so if I bring that there, and I bring this, like this, and then like... This, that's too low. Okay. So I need to be up about here. Yeah. Okay, now we can come around like that. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. Uh, bring this. Can that get all the way around? It can. Uh, okay. That needs to be going around a corner, I think. Yeah, it does. Uh, kind of like this. Yeah. To about there. I think. Like this? Yeah. I think like that. Okay, let's just go and take a look through here. That looks like it's probably fine. Um, now, I need a track that comes, comes across like this, yeah, uh, okay, that can do that, and this can actually head down because it needs to stay on this side and it can snap to that actually that would be fine okay and then we can come up good this one can just come straight into there uh, how bad is that that's actually acceptable okay do that that, I think, should be the viaduct that it is. Yeah, I think I think I can accept that. Good. And do the uh, crossing thing. Yeah. Do 
do this. Yep. And then we come up to here. Like that. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, I think the, uh, I'll need to put one of these here. Yep. Good. Uh, I'm going to need signals like this here, right? And like this. Like this. Okay. Need that. Yeah. Do that too. Okay. And maybe one set here. That's more than I actually need there, but that's what I'm putting there. Uh... Now, I think doing this has the advantage that these tracks can just punch through the hillside, right? Uh, yeah, I think that uh, that will probably work. Now, to get a train onto that, I need a... I need a depot or something that's facing the right direction. Um, yeah. Okay. So, where am I going to put it? Good question. I wonder if you should put it over here. Thing is, you have a depot back here. Yeah, I do. So you could do this. Yeah, I could. Hmm. Um. I could bring a track off like this. Hmm. I could do this. And then run this. Run this kind of like this. Could do that. Yeah, you could. And then I could do this. You could. Right. Okay. Well, you did that. Now what are you going to do? I'm going to fling a train or two at this. Okay. So we're going to need a reasonable engine. Uh, one that'll do 80 would be good. We don't have any that do 80. Wait, what cargo wagons do we have? Tanker, they, they only do 50. Okay, steam. Um, so we could go with anything up here. That does 50, 240. The class B is probably Yeah, we'll go with the class B. Oops. Um, edit those and actually add the engines. Yeah, that'll be better. Um, okay. Now, ooh. Right, I need to get a train here fast. Okay. Uh, okay, so you, new line, you go here. Uh, you go here. 
and here and here yeah yeah okay good and that's uh, Columbia oil well to Centennial refinery okay uh, oil well to sent oil are uh, chem okay and it occurred to me that I need to uh, rejigger this uh, right okay I'm gonna need one of these right and whoops uh signals like this yeah okay good now if we come down here and we add uh, a new line which will go from here to here yeah uh, this will be uh, centennial oil well to centennial oil refinery okay now question is do we actually uh, get uh, yep it's not going to close now you, you saw the, the bar there right so let's just uh, jump in here and we'll ride the train because this is going to be the project for the episode, right? Uh, that uh, big station set up plus this, uh, this oil collecting line business thing. Oh, I like this. This works. Okay, we come along here. Ooh, nice. Good. Okay. We are definitely going to pick up some oil. And I think I have too many cars on the train. Maybe. Uh, might need fewer. Okay, so we've got a single track here. Now, it doesn't jump onto the, the uh, main line there. It just runs alongside it because merging and then demerging uh, for this distance is not worth it. Okay, now we got a steep climb. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have a little bit of uh, contention here, and that is fine. Okay, this, this basically works, I think. Yeah, that other train is definitely too long. Uh, this one, we're going to stop, we're going to drop off uh, oil, and we're going to pick up uh, crude, and we're going to pick up some refined oil and bring it onward. Yeah. No, this one might, might need a longer train and the other one a shorter one. Yeah, I think the other one needs a shorter one. Right, and we come on into here, we drop off, and it does nothing, of course, with it yet. Okay, I'll probably rejig the track along here so that it's uh, two one-way, uh, like like uh, one, uh, two single lines running side by side. Uh, I might not. No, I might not. No, 
No, it doesn't make sense to. Yeah, that uh, that came out okay. I, I'm I'm good with that. Good now. Uh, yeah, this might need a longer train. Yeah. Uh, not much longer though. Okay, now this one. What's the, uh, oi? They both might need longer trains. Okay, right. So once I'm doing something with the stuff at the uh, chemical plant, then, uh, then that might be uh, useful, right? But anyway, the idea is uh, because we don't have a uh, thing to drop it straight into here, unless I climb the hill and come up to this, uh, this is a this is not going anywhere in this area. So then I would haul it back to here, drop it off at a platform, and ah, this would be a good use for the alternative platforms, where you have the incoming stuff drop off on a handful of uh, of platforms specifically for drop offs. And you have, say, three or four of them where uh, it can select uh, a platform, drop off, and then uh, any open platform, drop off, and then leave again, right? So that would be a, uh, a good use, I think, of that. Right. Uh, okay. Anyway, that is going to be it for this, this episode. So... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not sure what the project next time is, but uh, I'll come up with one. It's probably something in this corner of the map, uh, but maybe not. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all. I'll just leave with a mention of my Patreon if you want to support the channel. If not, that's fine too. Links in the doobly-doo. And with that said, uh, see you back next time.